China and Iran have developed some of the most advanced missiles on the planet. Their possible sole mission is to destroy the United States and Israel. To this, Israel and the United States respond with the most advanced laser weapon system in the world. But is this laser powerful enough to intercept the most destructive and fast hypersonic missiles of the world? Let's figure it out. Xing Kong 2 on August 3, 2018, the China Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics under the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation tested a hypersonic wave rider flight vehicle, the first in China. It was the Xing Kong 2, and while this is referred to as a vehicle, it is actually a missile. Launched via a multi-stage rocket at a northwest China test range, the Xing Kong 2 reached an altitude of 18.6 miles and achieved speeds between Mach 5.5 and Mach 6 approximately 4,600 miles per hour, six times faster than the speed of sound. And being a wave rider, the Xing Kong 2 is able to leverage shock waves generated during hypersonic flight to glide, enabling unpredictable trajectories that challenge existing anti-missile defenses. Capable of carrying conventional or nuclear warheads, Xing Kong 2 is seen as a major strategic asset in China's military modernization potentially targeting high-value assets like U.S. aircraft carriers in the Indo-Pacific. Its maneuverability and speed make it difficult to intercept, aligning with China's anti-access or area denial strategy. While still in the experimental phase, with further tests expected and deployment not long after, the Xinjiang-2 underscores China's aggressive pursuit of hypersonic weapon technology. FADA on June 6, 2023, Iran's first hypersonic missile was unveiled, its name FADA. With a top speed of Mach 15, it is not only one of the fastest missiles on the planet, but also one of the fastest hypersonic missiles ever built. At these speeds, this long, grim reaping missile is able to strike Israel from nearby Iran in only four minutes of launch. That's almost no time to calculate its flight path. Even if the missile was flying in a fixed, predictable flight path, and the FADA likely isn't, the superpower of modern hypersonic missiles is their agility or ability to evade air defense systems, and FADA is likely no different. For years, the tensions between Iran and Israel have only grown, many times surfacing as actual conflicts involving cocked guns and launch missiles. Many of Iran's missiles can easily be intercepted by Israel's state-of-the-art Iron Dome air defense system. But with an agile, hypersonic FADA, this could quickly change and Israel could be in urgent need of air defense systems better than state-of-the-art. With the United States entering the conversation directly and showing signs of a direct conflict with Iran, the U.S. too might need such air defense systems when FADA takes center stage. DF-17 the Dongfeng-17, short for DF-17, China's first operational hypersonic ballistic missile, it was unveiled in 2019 during the People's Republic of China's 70th anniversary parade. Developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the DF-17 is designed to deliver hypersonic glide vehicles, missiles, at speeds exceeding Mach 5 traveling at over five times the speed of sound. Combined with unfixed maneuvering flight paths, the DF-17 is a difficult weapon to intercept by even the most advanced missile defense systems. It is capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear warheads and can deliver its destruction pinpoint to targets up to 1,500 miles away, far enough to threaten American naval forces on their way to join a conflict in the Indo-Pacific region. If the U.S. and Israel will defeat China and Iran armed with these hypersonic missiles, they must find a way to intercept these missiles and retaliate in destructive kind. The United States and Israel are two of the best protected nations on Earth. Both nations have air defense systems fit for a movie. Systems capable of snuffing out the heat from incoming missiles with ease. The Patriot Advanced Capability 3 system is one of such systems. Developed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. military, the Patriot system excels in intercepting tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and aircraft using hit-to-kill technology for precision. 
Its radar, the ANMPQ-65, detects threats at long ranges, enabling a rapid response. The Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, also by Lockheed, targets short and medium-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase, intercepting at altitudes up to 150 kilometers. The ANTPY-2 radar of this system provides unparalleled tracking accuracy. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System deployed on Navy destroyers and cruisers counter short to intermediate range missiles with SM-3 interceptors offering sea-based flexibility. The ground-based mid-course defense system protects against intercontinental ballistic missiles using exo-atmospheric kill vehicles. These systems, integrated via the command and control, battle management, and communications network, ensure layered multi-domain defense. Israel is also a multi-layered shield against diverse threats. David Slank, co-developed with American defense company Raytheon, neutralizes tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones with stunner interceptors. Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 joint projects between Israel and the United States target medium to long-range ballistic missiles, with Arrow 3 capable of exo-atmospheric intercepts, countering threats like Iran's conventional missile arsenal. The Barak-8, a naval and land-based system by Israel Aerospace Industries, counters aircraft, missiles, and drones at medium to long ranges. And then there is the Iron Dome possibly the most famous air defense system in all of history. The Iron Dome has proved itself to be the perfect response to one of Israel's greatest threats, a barrage of short-range rockets and artillery shells. The Iron Dome has time and time again quenched these threats with ease and precision, many times taking down as many as 90% of the incoming explosives. The Iron Dome was developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and supported by the United States with at least 2.6 billion of funding. All of these Israeli air defense systems are integrated through a centralized command network leveraging real-time data from ELM-2084 radars and U.S.-provided intelligence. Israel's defenses have proven resilient in conflicts, intercepting thousands of rockets from Hamas and Hezbollah, both widely known as Iran's proxies. However, with Iran up with new hypersonic tricks up its sleeves, Israel and the U.S. must once again work together to create an air defense system capable of quenching the imminent threat. The two nations have gotten to work and their unanimous answer is the Iron Beam. The Iron Beam is a laser weapon, THE laser weapon. After decades of toiling and dead ends, the dream of an actual operational laser weaponry becomes a reality, and the Iron Beam is the pioneer. Developed by Israel's Rafale Systems and supported by the United States, the Iron Beam is designed to intercept threats long before they even get a chance to near their targets. The Iron Beam proved capable of this in 2022 in the Negev Desert. Here, the Iron Beam was tasked with detecting, tracking, and intercepting mortars, rockets, anti-tank missiles, and UAVs with concentrated laser beams, all of which the system did in flying colors. The Iron Beam boasts some impressive capabilities that place it miles ahead of existing air defense systems. Capabilities such as an unlimited magazine, missiles, lethal as they are, are significantly limited by number. Once they run out in the middle of a conflict, their operators are basically goners. This is not the same with the Iron Beam. Being a laser weapon, it doesn't rely on projectiles to deal damage, but rather on the energy that comes with lasers. With a reliable power source on standby, the Iron Beam continues to fire, completely canceling out the need to reload or restock, ultimately introducing an unlimited magazine with highly effective shots. Speed of Light Attack Lasers are a form of light energy. In fact, the word laser is actually an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Therefore, the Iron Beam's 150 kilowatt laser shots from two separate laser guns would travel to targets at a speed of 186,000 miles per second. The speed of light, the fastest thing in the universe. Supersonic or hypersonic, it doesn't matter. No drone, mortar, missile, or fighter jet stands a chance at outracing this weapon. This justifies the Iron Beam's almost 100% hit success rate. Also, with the laser beam reaching its target almost instantly, 
It eliminates the need to calculate an intercept course, as interceptor missiles must do. This simplifies the threat counter process significantly. Intelligence The Iron Beam is an intelligent weapon that does the bulk of its work without human intervention. This is expected, seeing as humans could never keep up with threats moving at the speed of sound. The Iron Beam can and does autopilot itself in detecting and tracking threats and then taking them out. This automatic nature of weapon is why Israel plans to have Iron Beam units lined across their border, preventing threats from crossing into the country and ensuring a sound sleep for people of Israel, including the military who might have less direct defending to do. The Iron Beam is also designed to allow for militaries of Israel's allies to easily be trained and deploy the weapon in next to no time, translating into instant integration of the weapon wherever it takes a tour, such as the U.S. The Iron Beam is expected to be deployed officially by October this year. It will provide cost-effective interceptions at $2 to $5 per shot, compared to $40,000 to $50,000 for traditional missile interceptors. The U.S. has invested $1.2 billion to support Iron Beam's procurement for Israel. The U.S. has shown some serious interest in the Iron Beam for itself, so much so that Lockheed Martin, now with 40 years of experience in direct energy weapons, has partnered with Israel's Rafale Systems to create an American version of the Iron Beam. This partnership, formalized in December 2022, leverages Israel's pioneering work on directed energy weapons and U.S. expertise in laser technology to create a system tailored for the United States. The resulting system from this partnership will have a power rating of 300 kilowatts, three times the power of the iron beam, and will combine multiple solid-state lasers, enabling simultaneous engagement of multiple targets. Once such a system is created, tested, and proven to work like magic, the obvious next step is to make multiple versions of it everywhere. At the borders, on ships, portable versions on fighter jets, and so on. Protected by entire slews of laser air defense systems that shoot beams a million times faster than every hypersonic weapon in China and Iran. The United States and Israel are well equipped to respond to everything thrown at them and ready to dominate the battlefield. China and Iran must already know of this and must be working on laser weapons of their own for something better, if possible. Either way, the stage is set. The players are ready. So let the battle begin. Let the battle end as quickly and as peacefully as possible. To make this best case scenario happen, Iran, China, Israel, and the United States need you to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. So do that now and thanks for watching.